Every year, 10 million tons of butter is consumed worldwide. It is one of the most popular dairy products made from cow's milk. Its delicious flavor enhances the taste of toast. But do you know how is butter made from cow's milk? In this video, we will discover the process of industrial butter and powdered milk production. It is highly likely that an accidental agitation of cream resulted in the discovery of butter 10,000 years ago. However, it was during the Industrial Revolution that this delicious dairy product began to reach our homes on a massive scale. The ancient Romans used it as a beauty cream and for treating burns. Back then, people made butter by agitating milk in animal skin bags or hollow logs. The Vikings used it to fortify themselves for their perilous journeys. Until the 19th century, butter was made by hand in small batches on farms. But in 1878, Carl Gustav Patrick invented a mechanical cream separator, enabling industrial-scale production. Half of Denmark's total of 570,000 dairy cows provide milk for butter production. To ensure quality butter, cows must enjoy pastures. However, butter is exclusively made from cream. So before making butter, cream must be separated from the milk. The world's largest butter company produces 154 tons of butter every day. The process of making butter starts with the delivery of a milk tanker to the dairy. Around 30,000 liters of cow's milk are rigorously tested in the laboratory upon arrival. Workers check for consistent color and odor before it is discharged through vacuum-pumped hoses. The raw milk is pumped into a machine called a separator, which spins and separates the fat from the rest of the liquid through centrifugal force. The separated fat, or cream, is what will be used to make butter, while the remaining liquid is skimmed milk. The essential ingredient for butter production is cream. It is thick, whitish, and contains approximately 38% fat. Part of it will be used to make low-fat milk substitutes. The lower the fat content, the finer and more liquid the milk will be. The centrifuge spins at 1500 revolutions per minute, and the creamier, less dense cream moves toward the center, while the skimmed milk moves outward. The cream and milk exit through separate pipes. The fresh cream is loaded into tankers to travel to the butter factory. Each day, 25 to 30,000 liter milk tankers arrive. However, this cream could contain unwanted bacteria, therefore it is heated to 92 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds in a process called pasteurization. The cream is then placed in a bulk tank where mixers agitate it to maintain consistency. Butter needs to have the same consistency throughout the year. However, cream composition changes with the seasons depending on the food available to the cows. In winter, they graze on green grass, resulting in more unsaturated fat and softer butter. The lack of green grass in summer leads to more saturated fat and harder butter. The solution is a two-phase process called ripening. First, the cream is heated in these tanks to 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. It is then pumped into 150-ton vats and slowly cooled to 9 degrees Celsius. This changes the structure of the fat crystals, providing a consistent texture throughout the year. After maturing overnight, an operator checks the pH and taste. If the cream is too acidic, indicating spoilage, the entire batch will be discarded. However, it cannot be spread on toast at this point. Churning solves this. After pasteurizing and maturing the cream for 24 hours, workers prepare to transfer it to another machine called the churner. First, they clean the interior by filling it with water mixed with iodine eliminating germs from the previous batch. The churner spins for about five minutes before being rinsed with water. Then 1,500 liters of cream are poured into the churner, filling it halfway. It is important to leave some space for the air release during the churning process to escape through two ventilation grids on the churner. The churner rotates a thousand times per minute and contains approximately one ton of butter. The fat droplets in the cream are grouped together by fragile membranes, which the churning process breaks forming creamy clumps known as butter popcorn. Every five minutes, an operator stops the churner and adjusts the air release from the top. When the they feel that no more air is coming out, they close the valve and restart the machine. After 30 minutes of churning, the fat molecules in the cream turn into creamy clumps. These clumps are trapped in the churner, while the remaining liquid, called buttermilk, flows out through a drain at the bottom. Buttermilk is used to make creamy cheese, producing 12 tons per hour. Now. Only the butter popcorn remains. Two more ingredients are added to finalize the mixture. An operator seasons it with 14 kilograms of salt, and a lactic culture is added. Lactic cultures are bacteria that ferment the lactose in butter, converting it into lactic acid and natural aromatic components. This gives butter a slightly acidic taste and that familiar buttery aroma. The churning process has introduced air bubbles into the mixture, 
which can cause the butter to oxidize, resulting in a metallic taste. The worker closes the churner, sealing the window with a rubber ring and a metal clamp. This maintains the internal air pressure approximately equal to the external pressure, ensuring the churner operates correctly. The butter is kneaded to mix the ingredients before being sent to a vacuum chamber to remove the air. The final product is rich butter. The butter is now ready. Next, a worker puts about 30 kilograms of butter into a mill, which transports the butter to the final phase of production, where it is shaped and packaged. This machine extrudes the butter into a block-shaped injector. Then, the injector deposits the butter blocks into open containers. The packaging paper has an outer aluminum coating to prevent light from spoiling the butter. Each sheet measures 26.5 centimeters long and 19 centimeters wide. The machine operates four days a week and produces up to 230 packages per minute. To ensure the precision of the mixer, workers check one out of every 15 blocks to ensure they weigh exactly 455 grams. A lift places ready pallets containing 4,000 butter packages in a cold storage warehouse. Fans keep this mountain of butter at approximately 2 degrees Celsius. Every two minutes, a pallet leaves the factory, helping transport 2.5 million butter packages to supermarkets worldwide. Powdered milk production. The factory also produces powdered milk. First, milk from suppliers is transported to storage tanks with a capacity of 1 million liters. It is then pumped into an intermediate container and subsequently into the machines responsible for evaporating the milk. Here it reaches a density between 45% and 52%. The concentrated milk is pumped to the spray drying tower through a heating system and a homogenization system. The spray drying tower is where the drying process takes place, resulting in a product with 4% water content. Spray nozzles allow the production of different types of powdered milk, such as skimmed milk, whole milk, and milk blended with various vegetable oils. The freshly produced powdered milk is transported from the spray drying tower to a container above the weighing and packaging line. This fully automated line is used to pack the powdered milk in bags or sachets. The final product passes through the distribution warehouse and is then delivered to customers worldwide. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might find it interesting. Also, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to keep learning. Thank you for watching.